Welcome back everyone. I hope everyone had a great holiday. Let's kick off 2022 with a great Android application that I always use. The Wi-Fi File Transfer. This app enables you to transfer files between your phone and PC without the need of any wires or cables. Just through Wi-Fi. Yes, there's the share it of the world, even the link to my Asus app which I created a video for recently, check out the video description of the link at the top right corner if you want to watch it. But I keep coming back to Wi-Fi file transfer because of it's a lot simpler than any other apps like it. You won't need to install anything from your PC side to use this, you also don't need to create a connection via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth between the PC and the phone to make it work. You just need to install and run the application from your phone and you're ready to go. I will elaborate more on that within the rest of this video. Let's begin. From your phone, open your Play Store, then search for Wi-Fi File Transfer. Please note that this application is only available for Android devices. No version for Apple devices, yet. Once you found it, you know the drill, install it. Wi-Fi File Transfer is a free application, but you have an option to upgrade to a pro version through an in-app purchase. The free version has a limit for the upload which is only up to 5 megabytes. Other than that, all other functionalities are available. So, it's up to you if you want to upgrade to a pro or not. But on my own opinion, I would just stick to a free version and just use a data cable when uploading a big file from your phone to PC. Let's take a small detour here and let me show you the files that I'll be transferring later to my PC. Let's take note of this folder location here. That's where we'll pull the files later. Once installed, you should have an icon like this available to your phone. Before we start, make sure that your PC and phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This is important, as this will not work unless both devices are connected to the same network. Let's now open Wi-Fi file transfer application. Here is its interface, a really simple one. No need to do anything, just tap on start. It will then give you a URL for an IP and port which you can access from your PC, other tablet or other phones, to be able to access the contents of this phone. It's that simple. Just take note of this URL here, then tap on OK, and we can leave the phone be. Let's switch to my laptop's screen. From your PC, or any other device connected to the same network, open a browser, I'll be using Chrome for this, then type in the IP address and port given by the Wi-Fi file transfer app. In this case it is 192.168.1.39.1234. Here we go. We can now access the phone's contents through this interface. As you can see here, all the file and folders inside my phone are visible here. You can sort the list by clicking on the headers, which toggles ascending and descending order. Let's sort it by name for now. Then, remember the path of the AR pictures we checked out earlier. Let's go to the pictures folder. Then AR. And here we go, we have the three pictures we viewed from the phone's gallery earlier. We can now download each file by clicking the download link on its row. You can also download all of them at the same time, by checking all of them, and clicking the download link at the top or bottom of the table. Two options are given when downloading multiple files. Either individually or by putting it in a zip file. Let's try the zip option. There you go. A zip file is downloaded containing all the three files we've checked. Now let's try downloading all of them individually. We will need to allow the browser to download multiple files. There you go. Three pictures downloaded sequentially. Let's check if the downloaded files are complete and not corrupted or something by opening them. Here we go. All the three pictures are all good. Now let's do the other way around. Let's send a file from the PC going to the phone. You can do it from this right side pane here for transfer files to device. You can either select a folder here to send the whole folder to the phone. Or do a choose file, which will let you select a specific file to copy to the phone. The current location we are in is on the AR folder inside the pictures folder of the phone, so when we upload a file or folder, it will go to this folder of the phone. Let's select a file now. This is also a picture file. Let's preview the file first to know what the picture looks like, so we can check it once uploaded to the phone later. Let's click open. You will see the file listed here now. Just click on the start upload button now to send the file to the phone. That was quick. See, we now have four files here, including the one we just uploaded to the phone. Let's now shift to my phone screen to check if the file was really uploaded there. Okay. We are back on my phone. Let's open the gallery to check if the file we've uploaded to the AR folder is really there. There we go. Here is the file we've uploaded from the PC. It is now alongside the three existing pictures here, as expected. By the way, even if you switch to another app on your phone, Wi-Fi file transfer is still working. 
while it is active, you will also see a notification for it like this one. When you tap on that notification, it will take you back to the Wi-Fi file transfer UI. Let's go back to my PC screen again. From the PC interface through the URL given by the Wi-Fi file transfer app, you can also delete and rename files from your phone. You can easily browse all the files, folders and contents of your phone, just like how you would on a file explorer application. So, when using Wi-Fi file transfer, make sure that you are connected on a trusted Wi-Fi network. Using this application on a public Wi-Fi network is not advisable, since anyone who can get a hold of your Wi-Fi file transfer's generated URL will be able to do pretty much anything to your phone's contents. So, please be careful when using it. The convenience that comes with using Wi-Fi file transfer application also comes with some lacks on security, that is why, personally, I only use this application at home, where the connection is private and only the household members have access. Other than that, I love everything about Wi-Fi file transfer application. It is easy to use. No installation needed from other device, no pre-connectivity between the devices needed, plus, you can transfer and exchange files from any devices and even multiple different devices at the same time. These conveniences cannot be found from any other Wi-Fi enabled file explorer applications. This is why Wi-Fi file transfer is still one of my main stay phone applications, even after more than a decade already. Lastly, remember that Wi-Fi file transfer application continuously opens the line for the generated URL, even when it is minimized from your phone. So, once you are done downloading or sending files between your phone and PC, do not forget to stop the Wi-Fi file transfer application's transmission. To stop, just simply tap on the stop button of the Wi-Fi file transfer's user interface, then you can tap on quit. After doing that, you won't be able to access the URL from any device anymore, as you can see here. Alright. That's it for this video. Wishing you all the best for this whole year of 2022. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilisuj for watching. Nova Air.